Prison Visualize a man who has to rescue people from a certain prison. It has been decided that there is only one promising way of carrying this out. The rescuer has to get into the prison area without attracting attention. He must remain there relatively free to operate for a certain period of time. The solution arrived at is that he shall enter it as a convict. He accordingly arranges for himself to be apprehended and sentenced. Like others who have fallen foul of this particular machine in this manner, he is consigned to the prison which is his goal. When he arrives, he knows that he has been divested of any possible device which would help in an escape. All he has is his plan, his wits, his skills and his knowledge. For the rest, he has to make do with improvised equipment, acquired in the prison itself. The major problem is that the inmates are suffering from a prison psychosis. This makes them think that their prison is the whole world. It is also characterized by selective amnesia of their past. Consequently, they have hardly any memory of the existence, outline and detail of the world outside. The history of our man's fellow prisoners is prison history. Their lives are prison lives. They think and act accordingly. Instead of hoarding bread, for instance, as escape provisions, they mould it into dominoes with which they play games. Some of these games they know to be diversions, others they consider to be real. Rats, which they could train as a means of communication with the outside, they treat instead as pets. The alcohol in the cleaning fluid available to them, they drink to produce hallucinations which delight them. They would think it sadly wasted, a crime even, if anyone were to use it to drug the guards insensible, making escape possible. The problem is aggravated because our malefactors have forgotten the various meanings of some of the ordinary words which we have been using. If you ask them for definitions of such words as provisions, journey, escape, even pets, this is the kind of list which you would elicit from them. Provisions Prison food Journey Walking from one cell block to another Escape Avoiding punishment by warders Pets Rats The outside world would sound to their ears like a bizarre contradiction in terms. As this is the world, this place where we live, they would say, how can there be another one outside? The man who is working on the rescue plan can operate at first only by analogy. There are few prisoners who will even accept his analogies, for they seem like mad babblings. The babblings, when he says, we need provisions for our journey of escape to the outside world, of course sound to them like the following admitted nonsense. We need provisions, food for use in prison, for our journey, for walking from one cell block to another, of escape, to avoid punishment by warders, to the outside world, to the prison outside. Some of the more serious-minded prisoners may say that they want to understand what he means, but they do not know outside world language any more. When this man dies, some of them make of his words and acts a prison cult. They use it to comfort themselves and to find arguments against the next liberator who manages to come among them. A minority, however, do, from time to time, escape.